This conference will now be recorded. So here this session is for SAP Asset Management as for HANA. So whenever uh, we are going to study any process of uh, asset management from the EM perspective, enterprise asset management, from the plant maintenance perspective, we need to understand the technical objects first, okay? So we are having different technical objects in SAP plant maintenance or in SAP asset management as for HANA. Okay, and uh, these technical objects we can manage through through Fury apps or through uh, SAP GUI. So in this session, we will understand how what is the what is the what is the use of technical objects. So uh, when we are going to understand the same concept further, my agenda is to explain here understanding the function location. Okay, and then structuring function location. How we can create function location and then uh, transferring the data when we are installing uh, or when we are dismantling any any equipment okay or how the data is going to transfer from its parent function location to its subordinate function location with reference to reference function location also and then we will understand it defining alternative leveling okay and then theory apps for function location so here in this session especially in this session I will I will explain the concept of function location, okay, and then further how we can create a function location. So these these are some of additional additional topics which we'll understand in upcoming sessions, okay. Here only the understanding of function location, okay. Then further we'll understand the customizing of function location in upcoming sessions also. So here, uh, this is the example uh, through which we can understand uh, one business case where we can understand the need of function location, okay? So here in my overview of SAP EM also, I have taken the same business case. Let's say there is a one township, Sunbreeze apartment, which is having different buildings, which we are calling as a tower one, tower two, tower three, okay? And on a particular floor, we have one apartment, okay? So we, we are we are here considering ourselves as a service provider or let's say we are considering as a company who's providing the maintenance okay to our tenants so let's say we are the owner of this uh, this township just i'm considering the owner okay so we are the owner of this township uh, and we are facilitating we are providing the maintenance to our tenant also so here in this particular apartment whatever the stuff whatever the furniture whatever the electronics item or electric items I'm having, we are the responsible to provide the maintenance for that. So let's say there is one tenant who is residing here in this apartment, Smith, okay, and uh, he got some issue, uh, uh, his, his AC is not working fine, okay, he's not, his AC is not working. So what he will do, he will, he will inform to the customer care or to the technical team, okay. So generally how we used to have a setup in any, maintenance facility management companies uh, we used to have customer care where the system will call to the customer customer care this, uh, this this team will capture all the details of all the maintenance requirement from the different locations okay and then they will send in this requirement to the maintenance manager and the maintenance manager will manage it and he will assign electrical engineer or any relevant resources to take it forward okay and then let's say if we are if we are get, if we are taking the same example in this case electrical engineer will be assigned by the maintenance manager or resource manager and then electrical engineer he will uh, visit the site and he will do the required maintenance for this particular ac so here we are having uh, a very important things let's say in future if you want to know how many uh, how many maintenance activity we have uh, completed on this particular AC. This is my first question. Let's say after three years, okay, and this maintenance manager want to know how many maintenance and what kind of maintenance we have done for this particular AC, means for particular equipment, okay? And uh, let's say he just want to know how, what are the different components which we have replaced for this particular equipment, that is AC. Okay, and let's say after a certain period, then that maintenance manager is looking for 
the details of whatever the maintenance they have taken in this particular apartment okay so here if you see this apartment is a location okay so for particular location we can come to know we will we will find out how many maintenance or what are the different activities which we have completed in a certain period okay so it is playing very crucial role for our maintenance activities so in sap wherever we are looking for any maintenance history or let's say wherever we are we would like to track the maintenance in that case we need to consider it as a function location or equipment okay so here we are talking about function location then second we will see how we can manage uh, equipment also so here uh, before even starting from this this setup well where the smith will call to the customer care we should have all this master data available in the system means we should have the function location and equipment and then this complete arrangement has to be available in the system then only we can go for uh, this uh, this process maintenance initiation process okay so here uh, this function location this function location let's say if you are considering one uh, one plant okay this is one function location within this let's say if we are having a different different floors that can be considered consider next level of location and a particular block within that particular floor can be considered next level of location so here the function location it is providing a hierarchical structure based on that we can we can find out exact location as per my maintenance requirement okay so here uh, the function location in sap it's a multi level hierarchical structure that is a part of technical structure okay sap function location are created for execution and recording for maintenance task so as i have explained in my previous slide when we are performing any maintenance we are capturing the history we are capturing all the transaction with reference to the function location or with reference to the equipment okay so here the function function location is helping us to record the maintenance task to control the cost over a specific area of plant and find the condition of an operating system so if we are having more activities of maintenance on particular location we need to find out the causes okay why this much of maintenance is required for that particular location so it is helping us to 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 understand are the conditions of that particular location okay and apart from that it is giving us a basis to prepare the cost concerns also let's say if it is required more maintenance then we we should we should replace this particular particular item on this particular location or not so this is a next level of understanding here the function location is a hierarchy like a tree structure or organization chart structure which identifies the area in a plant a site where a piece of equipment is located okay where it is installed and where maintenance is to be tracked So further if you uh, see this example this is the first location plant which is having a next level of location okay electrical plant or mechanical plant within electrical plant we are having further let's say substation one substation two and another side in mechanical that is a pump plant and filtration plant okay and then further in the substation it is a transformer one and transformer two and here in substation two i'm taking a volt meter and ampere so here uh, in this example uh, these can be uh, considered as a function location okay this is also location substation also can be considered as a location okay and whatever the equipment we are installing here like transformer or voltmeter or ammeter this will be considered as equipment uh next uh, let's say we uh, if we are visiting uh, if if we are doing any implementation okay so before going forward we need to understand what are the different function location we will have on that in, in this particular uh, in, in, the, in the organization so we are having a, a particular procedures to understand the function location okay so first of all we need to understand here the technical objects okay which objects are relevant and how should they be modeled so we need to understand what will be my function location what will be my 
uh, what will be my equipment, what will be my assembly, what will be my uh, spare parts. Okay, we need to understand all these things. Okay, so here by understanding that we need to then identify exactly. Okay, first we need to identify, then we need to structure, we need to classify, and then we need to verify. So in identification, what we are doing, which objects are relevant for plant maintenance. So wherever we are performing the maintenance, okay, the objects which are relevant to the maintenance, we need to con consider the technical object, whether it is a function, location, or equipment, okay. So this role, this this activity will be done by the maintenance engineer, okay. And then here we are capturing this activity in plant maintenance. So this portion where exactly it is going to be tracked, we'll understand later. But our main objective to understand here how we can identify and how we can structure it. Okay. So wherever the uh, the object which are relevant for the maintenance will be considered as a technical object. Which object are mapped and how? So we need to consider, we need to understand that what will what object, what technical object will be created as a function location and what object will be created as a equipment. Okay, then we need to classify it. Okay, and then after verification, only we need to create it further. So function location can be created based on the special, like building. Okay, like the same example which I have taken here, the township within that we are having building one, building two, building three, and then technical perspective also. Okay, and then we can consider based on the function functional like what is the process exactly, okay? Why we need the function location here, it is helping us uh, uh, in a different perspective. It will be required for execution of maintenance tasks, requiring of, uh, recording of maintenance tasks, data collection over longer period, post cost monitoring by area, what effect do the usage condition have on the likelihood of damage and the installed aggregates. So these are some of, uh, some of requirement why we need to create the function location. 